We're going to review the knee exam, but before we get started, there are a few important principles to be aware of. Some of the ultrasound settings need to be taken care of before we do the exam. Firstly, we look to see that we have the machine set up for musculoskeletal. And we do this by pressing the exam button on the machine, which will identify that we are in musculoskeletal mode. We will click select, and we're ready to begin. I recommend using a linear transducer, which is between 8 and 13 hertz. When using this transducer, it's important to stay with a consistent method so that you're always confident of where you are when you're scanning the patient. I recommend keeping the notch of the transducer always in the superior aspect, always pointing upwards towards the patient's head, as well as medially towards the patient's body. And you can correlate this with the machine because there's a dot in the upper left-hand corner of the screen which will orientate you as far as your scanning or injection techniques. We're going to begin scanning the right knee. I like to begin the scan by starting at the quadricep tendon with the transducer with the notch facing towards the patient upwards in a longitudinal plane. As my landmarks, I'm going to use so the bottom of the transducer is touching the top of the patella tendon. I can clearly see the fibers of the quadricep tendon attaching on the patella here at the distal end. It's important to maintain contact on both ends of the transducer to get an accurate image. I'm going to scan up and down the quadricep to detect any abnormality. Clinically, if I suspected a tear more proximally, I would examine further, but for most purposes, this is sufficient. Next, we're going to take a look at the patient's cartilage with the knee in the flex position. By holding the transducer with the notch facing towards the patient in the medial position, I'm placing the probe in cross-section just above the patient's patella. Here I see a clear image of the patient's medial and lateral epicondyles with cartilage shown in the area of blackness. In demonstration of arthritis or chondropenia, we can measure from the center of the cartilage as well as at the edge of each epicondyle and compare them to standards to determine the grade of osteoarthritis. By freezing the image, I can now measure the cartilage thickness. I press the caliper button and I locate the center of the cartilage and I can measure the distance of cartilage thickness. I can measure the cartilage thickness at the point of each lateral condyle and compare these to normal values. 